Now, uh, Vince and Nick, I have known you guys for a very long time, and today is a very important day for you guys. Tell us why. We are celebrating our eighth anniversary today. So, coming thus far, mm. it's an achievement, lah. So we are very happy about it. <laughs> very happy, very happy. <laughs> now, um, I remember when the, when the brand first came out, you always pointed to him and said, "Yeah, he's the one who designs everything." Is it still true? Well, uh, after eight years. Things have changed a bit, lah. <laughs> <laughs> have to, lah. So what's happened is, uh, we have our own design team okay. and uh, merchandising expanded, So, uh, yeah. So now I don't point to, yeah, how he designed, but we have a design team. Uh, so to speak. Now, how did you guys start in the first place? Fresh, flash in. What's the story? You know, were y'all drinking coffee and then suddenly, wow? Or how did y'all guys, y'all meet? You know that kind of thing. You say, ah? you say. Oh, oh. It's like Tai Chi, no? Because you, you, the way you say it's like movies, one eh. Yeah. Drink coffee, then think. Very seldom it happens this way. Oh. So I guess what happened was uh, back in uh, 2000, uh-huh. uh, Vincent was actually the, the one that founded Flash In. So, uh, well, we found, I mean, he found out that, you know, there's actually what do you call a void in uh, the so called the local street. Uh, no, 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 no brands that's actually local and. and has some nice design. So I guess Vincent saw that and he did something uh, to, to change it, you know, so yeah. to speak, change. Yeah. So I, I joined... Pioneer, pioneer. Yeah. In a way, in a way, we hope to think like that way. And uh, what happened was uh, I joined the company in 03 and then we started to have our uh, own retail outlet. So from there, things started to go, you know, uh, better. So, yeah, here we are. Oh, so you started in the year 2000 So what yes. were you doing in 2000? Uh, I was kind of like uh, doing part designing stuff And then so actually I came out with the design and then the brand name Then a year plus later, you know uh, Nicholas, was, he actually got a retail store So I was like, hey, you got a retail store Then sell my clothes, ah, yeah. you know ah. Then he sell Then after he said, hey, sell, sell quite well sell. That was like, hey, okay, just like that. Uh. Then that's how we come together. Yeah, just like that. It wasn't like y'all didn't plan anything no, ahead no, of time. No, no, no. It was like that one is watch movie like, one. Yeah. It happens in movies. It usually, usually happens uh, like so that. So yeah. it was like just oh serendipity yeah, line. It was way. just you know it, is, it was for a common purpose. You want to have something for the local, for ourselves, and for our friends. Something you know something that we would like to wear You know yes. you don't buy you don't buy don't sell something you don't like to wear right. Yeah. So that's what we did, and then from there. And you're still big kids, lah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We're still never, big kids. Never grow up. Never grow up. Still the same. Now, how has Flash Im changed since like 2003 when you set up the retail store? Uh, well, first we have three stores now. That's one good change. Uh, much and, bigger stores. Yeah, much bigger stores. Um, we have a wider range, a wider range of uh, products from. Uh, Last time only t-shirts now got accessories yeah. also. Yeah. Accessories. Jeans and all ladies. very affordable. Yeah, very very affordable. Mm. Yeah. And uh, we have uh, expanded our ladies range as well, yeah. That's why you can fit into a size M. <laughs> size M. You change the label. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> now you are the first local brand, uh, especially in street fashion, to actually succeed in this market and you've been going on strong for 8 years I mean there have been many retail stores that have come and left you know Haji Lane for example so many stores have changed now what is your secret behind all that? we have to sell you know that's it not, not much you know? of a secret la. I mean, you know? in order to survive you got to sell you know? no so sell no money <laughs> no, no going on yeah. but how do you all sell and sell well? I guess I guess um, over over the period over a period of like eight years in mm. a way, uh, we I mean, I mean from from my point of view lah, mm. uh, Vincent's design and creative flair is to combine uh, commercial and, and and design. So so you you also appeal to not just uh, atas people, you know, you appeal to. Many people. I like the way he atas people that he look at me <laughs> like, oh, I'm very happy. Eh. No, actually got something flying around. I was looking, not really looking at you lah, you know. But okay, since you put it that way, well, so and you know, my, my I'm, I'm trying to say is, you know, uh, you know, so you know, we have we balance commercial and and, and you know, design atas. Uh, uh, 
it, it actually helps to bring propagate the brand and make it uh, acceptable. I guess you need to have people know about the brand, buy it mm. and sell, and then you get the money and then you grow. And you even have pirated stuff out there. Uh, pirated stuff. Eh, uh, piracy, <laughs> flattery, right? Well, well until <laughs> we make a lot of money, la, then <laughs> then it's okay, you know. But uh, uh, piracy at this stage, I guess, is is well, you know, it will it will, it will affect a bit, lah. You know, yeah, affect. Mm-hmm. I guess you will, will affect the business a, a little. Yeah. But uh, particularly does it flatter that, you guys though? I mean the we don't we don't really think it that yeah. way. It's more of like, you know, uh buying from us, uh. that's the yeah, best flattery. In, instead of buying from us that you know, while we are building up the brand, then they are actually buying from other people. And that's that's not fair at this juncture. You know, even even big names, you know, the biggest name Louis Vuitton or whatever. Yeah, I mean they yeah. They also face face this kind of an issue. They, they wouldn't say that, wow, it's flattery, then, well, we don't sue. No, it doesn't work that way. Hello? So I guess it affects the business. Yeah. Now, for you from the design aspect, I mean, he already, you know, 讲你的好话,讲到, wow, you know, your design, this and that. Now, what, what do you think your design, uh, or how do you think your design has changed over the years from 2000, then 2003 when you started retail stock, and then now? Um, less, <laughs> less uh, idealistic. More commercial, and then at the same time we are. I guess you know we have. I mean, on on my creative end, you know, I've really sharpened uh, our acumen, and on top of that, my while leading the team, the team also know uh, what the markets wants and all that. Basically, we are designing what the markets want. How do you find out what Singaporeans want, though? We speak to them a lot. Our staff, which is why Nicholas. He has this job, PRK, you know. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's he's uh, training, <laughs> training, you know, our staff and all that to 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 ensure that we are our staff, you know, uh, provide excellent services down at the store. And while that, we are gathering informations. Yeah. So from there, we actually get more informations through our customer, and then while designing what they really desire. What's the toughest thing about breaking into the Singapore market and being a local brand for like the last eight years? I mean, a lot has changed in the last eight years. So what is tough about that? The, tough, the toughest thing is that it's always tough at any point of time to do. It's not just tough at one time. Oh, toughest yeah, over. Yeah. It's, it's always tough yeah, because it's always ongoing. this There's year... There's a lot of challenges. Yeah, and it's always... It's always like, you know, this yeah. year you've got to have a tough year, economic, you know... Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the years uh, when we first started, you have a tough. Uh, it was us. Uh, it was us. When we yeah. started the uh, retail store, and then on top of that, you have to um, change a little bit of the mindset that local brands aren't that good. Yeah. It's always it's always an ongoing battle in a way. Today is tough this, tomorrow is tough that. But y'all didn't actually position yourself as like a brand from overseas, which some local brands do. You know to get that. Thing. You didn't, you actually went out there and said we are a local brand, we're proud of it. And yet you guys have succeeded. Are you all proud of that or what was the strategy behind that? I guess it's, it's more of, you know, we, we decided to go into this direction. And at the same time, we are getting a lot of support from, you know, these, these Singaporeans, be it our customer or, or models or, you know, at the same time, we are creating a platform for them to showcase their talents. Like today, 30 models, they are all talents. You know, we just pick them out of the street and say that, hey, you know what, we're going to do you a cannot, fashion show. Yeah, you're not talented. Yeah. <laughs> you're actress. Actress. Yeah, who's you super cannot super afford yeah. me. Yeah. La. I cannot, cannot, so cannot. Yeah. Actually, it's the age. If I will have that. Actually, it's the age. What, <laughs> <laughs> another Tao Ta too? <laughs> I will have volunteered to do for free, but then they say until like that. Well. <laughs> but what are you all looking forward to in the next, uh, the, the years to come? Well, we're looking forward to uh, doing the same thing, uh, having more fun. Uh, same, same, but different. Uh. Same, same, <laughs> uh, but different. But in a way, we grow, uh, I guess. So we're looking at expansion, hopefully. Uh, I mean, this economic climate is quite, uh, it's quite, quite a challenge, quite scary. Hey, but retail uh, stores will be cheaper. Yeah, so Rental, I mean, we, we, you know? we hope Rental, to... Uh, yeah, we, we hope, hope to... to uh, after you saying that, we hope that it will happen. <laughs> so... Uh, when that when that happens, then yeah, we're looking at uh, more collaborations uh, with different genre, different industries, 
uh, working with different people, creative people, and having fun, doing what you like. From a creative point of view, tell us a little bit of uh, the collaborations that you guys have gone through. I saw the phone call. <laughs> we had um, we worked with Adidas, and uh, recently, a couple of months ago, we just worked with Coke Zero. And then coming up next year, there will also be some collaboration going on. But uh, until now, it's still non disclosure yet. Yeah. 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 So secret. Cannot. We are bounded by law. <laughs> Indemnity for moral. Yeah. But what about like even uh, some cartoonists and stuff have actually yeah. done collaborations with yeah. you guys. Uh, I saw Tofu, the guys who did Tofu Man. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we were actually, you know, we, we, we've got this synergy with these guys, really. Yeah. Uh, they even, this, these guys from Daryl Robot even like designed two characters, each of us. Yeah. yeah. There's one for him, there's one for me. And even we came up with one uh, character called Devil's Imp, because they're Devil Robots and we're yeah. Flash Imp, so, you know, things like that. And these are all like cult brands, you know, not easy to like get in touch <laughs> with them. So, they hunt you down and they find you, how does that make you guys feel? I, I guess it's it's just kind of you know uh, I remember when we met them was a couple of years ago during one of these local toy maker called Trixie so from there you know it's just like I said the synergy we just met and then the next thing we're like hey let's do something together mm-hmm. as simple as that just like how we meet you ma you know? uh- <laughs> Just one thing lead to another. You meet someone, and then from there you lead on. That is who true. knows tomorrow I will know someone else because of this. Oh, so true. Wait, these are two guys, right? Who are in front of me? Then they act like kids, right? So I know you girls want to know whether or not they are single or not, like. So guys, you have to tell the girls. See that one. Then this one. I got eighteen month old kid. So you, everyone, we have actually just finished seeing the Flesh Irm Fashion Show. I hope you've enjoyed this time at Brunson.